Hey, everybody. We are going to open a uh, box of the uh, 2020 opening day baseball for, uh, where, hang on, where's his name? IP Freely. For IP Freely. Let's see what we got. This should be exciting. You are going to look for autograph and relic cards. May contain redemption cards with expiration dates. No purchase necessary. See pack for details. Ah, the good old, uh, good old one, uh, one card per pack type uh, situation. No, it's. I mean, I don't. I don't know if it's like Ian Paul Freely or whatever, Raj. But it's just uh, on on the order sheet. It says IP Freely. Gonna have to take that trash. Well, no, I'm actually not gonna have to take that trash out. No, I am gonna take that trash out because I'm gonna be the next one breaking. If it was just if it was Jesse, I'd just leave it for him to do. But ugh, now I gotta be the one to do it. Joe, if there is, then uh, I will. And then I can probably talk to uh, IP and work out some kind of situation. He did pick this uh, box number. If that, I mean, if that makes any difference, he did pick pick the uh, box number. So, he, so it, it's not uh, it's not random. But I'm not sure that uh, you can call anything in opening day a huge hit. So I mean, if, so if you're saying like you know, a base card or something, like then, you know, then maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's see. I could be wrong, though. I mean, this could be the greatest thing that's, uh, that's ever been produced. I don't know. We're going to find, find out shortly. The one thing I'm not going to do is have Jesse, uh, break a case of it, because, uh, He would uh, either quit, or or I would come in, you know, the next morning, sometime around the. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say morning. Like some kind, some come in sometime around noon, and uh, he would uh, he'd still be breaking it, and then he would, uh, you know, stab me in the throat with uh, some kind of uh, some kind of box. box cutter or something all right so this reminds me i need to keep the box cutters locked up somewhere you know i don't i mean listen i don't know if there are i don't know if you can have like no hits at all it just says look for that stuff not that there's like necessarily one or the other in a box so Let's see what kind of stuff is in opening day, shall we? Let's get uh, let's get comfortable. So we've got like a Kansas City Royals opening day card. Uh, you know, there's a an umpire. There's uh, things there. I mean, do, how much do you consider a uh, Scott Kingery? I mean, it's all, it's, you know, you've almost got a, a little bit of a, what do you call it, stuff like stadium clubbish kind of uh, photos a, a little bit. Hey, the Rangers captain, I mean, you've got a horse card. 
Is, is, is that a horse? I don't know. Cheater, Cheater Jose Altuve. You can actually see uh, the uh, if you look very closely. It's a little bit hard with the camera, but uh, you can see a uh, wire sticking uh, sticking out right there. What's this thing? Spring has sprung for uh, the big hurt, Frank Thomas. I'll probably only ship insert cards. There's an actual rookie. Aaron Nola, a real Muto. So, I mean, so Philly's, uh, Philly's base is actually uh, showing up. I mean, and you've got, uh, you've got cup cards. You've got cup cards in this. So this, I mean, so that, you know, so it is, it is something. Scumbag Ryan Braun waving to uh, the people that are booing him. Bernie Brewer. He's look. He's looking solid. Is that just? Uh, that's just regular. Pink background is uh, solely from uh, the other stuff. Mrs. Mets. So oh, it's the lady. I mean, you can tell by the hips on that that that, that is a that, that is a lady mat. Uh, the cheater Guriel. Uh, Vlad uh, cup card. Soraka cup card. Uh huh. Miami. Mar Let's see. Hang on. This is a Miami Marlins opening day. Now, now this, now this is interesting. You can't. Uh, I mean, if you look closely, you'll see nothing but empty seats here. Empty seats. Empty seats there. Empty seats over here for for opening day of the uh, Marlins can't can't even can't even fill a stadium on opening day I didn't go so I mean that's something the Atlanta Braves uh, mascot is named blooper did not know that but he is on a use unicycle that's exciting Ooh, I see something shiny coming up. Let's see, we got a Jackie Robinson statue uh, at the Dodgers Stadium. That's uh, you know, that's something, something nice. You got a Garrett Cooper, March twenty sixth, twenty twenty, blue, uh, blue shit. I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of bluish refractor. It's not even really a refractor because it's. But it's shining. They probably only made. They probably only made like uh, you know seven thousand of these cards. What's this? Is it? Is this something fancy or is it uh, some kind of insert deal? Yeah, this is just an advertisement. Celebrate with tops, August eighth, twenty twenty. Learn about prizes. Thought it might have been a potential hit, but uh, was in fact yeah, just another advertisement. There we go. Advertisement, even. As, uh, as some would say. Well, we're getting close to having all stadiums accounted for uh, as far as opening day stuff goes. I mean, there's the Twins. Twins, not a full stadium. It's probably, it's probably cold there, though. Probably, probably snowing. How about the uh, Royals? That's a that, I mean that's Crown Vision. I mean that's that's you know that's something. Spring has sprung for Javier Baez. I don't know if he is aware or not. 
but uh, he has a glove on top of his head. Not sure if that's, um, you know, I mean, if he, like, if somebody just, like, threw it up there and he didn't realize it was there, if that's his glove and he just, like, you know, at some point he's going to be like, I got, you know, they're going to say, like, all right, you know, you know, get into the field, Javi. And he'll be like, where's my glove? Where's my glove? Where's my glove? And he'll be, like, looking around, looking around. Everybody will be laughing at him, like, why are you laughing at me? I can't find my glove. And then somebody will finally say, it's on your head, Javi. And be like, oh, Hey, a Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. I mean, you got you got a little something there. That's a nice slider for the Indians. What are these? Uh, what are these yellow sores on him? He's got some sores up here too. Like that's uh, I might I would consider having a doctor look into that. Cody Bellinger card that looks uh, mildly different. You have just received an MLB sticker collection preview card. So, Okay, so this is not even an actual sticker, I don't think. This is just a preview of what the stickers will be. Because it does not feel quite like a sticker. I'm gonna slip that on the side. I might, I'm, I might tear that thing in half here in a little while, and just hope that the hope that IP Freely doesn't uh, that never saw that uh, that Bellinger come out. Hey, look at Bryce Harper again. I mean, you know, he he seems excited, agitated. I'm not, you know, I don't know. I mean, he's. He's he's feeling emotions right now, and as and as an adult man, you should feel emotions, and you should feel what you know what you want to feel and, and be and be able to express it. That's I mean you know this I mean this to me I mean is a is a treatise on on you know american masculine uh expression and i'm going to top load it for that it should I mean it, it, everyone should have one of these a reminder to all that uh you know that you that you should be allowed to feel and express your feelings don't don't bottle them up Nope, there's, there's no point. Don't bottle them. Let you know. Let let them let them go. Let them loose. George Brett spring sprung. I'm almost a little bit sad that we've only got like two uh, two two chunks of this uh, left. And it's upside down. Mark McGuire, when he was... Well... This might be like at the beginning of the uh, steroid era. Because he's not like straight up swole like he really was. But, he's, but he looks like he's starting to get there. You know, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I see I see that uh, neck turning into his whole head. Like he, he's he's probably like either getting ready to punch a kid in the face in roid rage for asking for an autograph, or he's just gonna sign it and walk away. One, you know, one of the two. I can't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No, another Mookie, a sticker one. I'll try and tear that one apart uh, later too. I mean, because if it's an actual sticker, then I mean that's you know that's something we have. Billy the Marlin. Why Billy? I don't know. Why not? Uh, you know, why not Jose? Why not uh, Rafael the Marlin? And 
I mean, I, you know, I, these are questions that I need answered. Is, is the back ever going to do it? Billy the Marlin showed at 2019 spring training in the best shape as a, in the best shape of his life, a makeover that was part of the team's rebrand. His antics, however, are as uproarious as the day he was introduced in 1993. The Atlantic University grad admits he is occasionally clumsy but maintains a sense of decorum as any mascot should. Oh, spring is spronging for uh, Rafael Devers. You know, he's he's probably telling a very funny story about, you know, I'm not sure who, who the two other guys are. But I imagine, just by looking at it, that the story goes something like this. So, I signed this $800 million contract... And, uh, you know, I, I went to the uh, Toyota dealership and I said, you know, give me some cars. And they said, well, you know, which car do you want? And he said, I'll take them all. And they were like, well, there's like 700 cars here. And he said, okay, I'll take them all. And then this guy just started laughing and laughing and laughing because he did the same thing at a uh, Hyundai dealership three days before. And uh, that's you know that's that's why they're laughing and he and you know it's, that that's 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 my take. That that was bad. That was terrible. Uh, I I I'll admit that one. I, I I swung and missed on that one. Should have done better. What is this? All rise, judges court. I mean, I guess is is that uh, Sotomayor right there? Is that is, is that lady Sotomayor? Isn't isn't she a Supreme Court justice who is a uh... yeah? We well, hang on now. Good point, Raj. Let me see if I can find him. I I see neither Judge Judy nor Joe Brown in this. If this, if this was not IP Freely's box, I would rip this card into 17 pieces and set it on fire because it is, I mean, you cannot hold court without Judge Judy and Judge Joe Brown. Can't do it. Although, it is possible. It is very possible. That this guy here is laughing because he said, hey, 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 that's funny you're telling me you bought all the Toyotas of the lot. Because I went to, uh, you know, I, I went to Hyundai and told them I want to buy all the cars. And they're like, sorry, bro, can't do it. Judge Judy just came in and bought them all. And they're like, J and he <coughs> he's like, J Judge Judy, what? And they and she was and, and she was like, yes, she is going to donate them to uh, anybody that plays against the Red Sox because she is in fact a Yankees fan. Not sure. Oh, Cunha for the Braves. What's up, Mark? How you doing tonight? Ah, Jordan Alvarez. I don't see, I can't see the wire sticking out of there, so he must have been using the uh, the uh, trash can type deal. Must have been using the trash can deal. Yeah, nice Eloy. Oh, there's something shiny. There's something shiny. Oh! <gasps> A Kenley Jansen, March 26th, 2020, for the Los Angeles Dohers. I mean, what do we know about him? He overcame an off-season procedure to correct a cardiac issue? Kenley Jansen has heart problems? I did not know that. 
to resume his rise of the ranks of all time save artists. He moved into the historical top 30 closers on a strength of near 90% conversion rate. That is impressive. I mean, my goodness, in, in 2010, his ERA was .67 in 25 games. That is, I mean, that's something. Don't sleep on uh, old Kenley Jansen. Don't do it. Don't. Mark, if you were going to, don't. Now, here's Aaron Judge, who has a fake court of people who are not Judge Judy, nor are they Judge Joe Brown, uh, pretending to be uh, judges in, in, the, in the stands for him. That's, that's not cool. Not cool. I mean, I, I, I think this, I mean, that should maybe be potentially investigated by either our Senate or our House. I'm not sure which, maybe both. I'll, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a call to my senator after this break is over to, to see about see about that because it's you know that's just not it's it's not cool. Is this? Oh, it's another one. We're gonna okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna replace one of them. It's a pre, I mean, they're saying it's a preview card, right? So, I mean, so this is what the sticker is going to look like when the stickers come out in 2020, but it's not a sticker in itself. What if I were to put double sided tape on the back of it? Or what if I were to take like regular sided tape and like make a circle out of it and kind of connect it, you know, together so you get like one. Like, you know, one hoop of tape and put it on there. Could we consider this in a sticker card or no? Or does it need to be, like, gluey all the way around? I'll set up a uh, Facebook poll on that to find out. Hey, Fernando Tatis Jr. Carlos Santana, what is what is he shocked about? Is he shocked that he actually got a hit? Is he shocked at the at, at somebody actually catching a ball that he scorched into uh, you know in into the corner or something? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, the blue the Blue Jays mascot is only called mascot. Every other one had some kind of name. This is the current Blues mascot introduced in 2000. So make over 12 years later when the Blues have their logo uniform, staying at even six feet tall. He's shorter than many MLB mascots, but every bit as agile. One of his favorite activities is hatching plans to foil the opposition. That sounds like cheating. And we are sadly hitless in uh, the opening day box. So no, uh, no relic, no autograph. But we did get three cards that are advertisements uh, for National Baseball Card Day on uh, August the 8th. Uh, we got a very expressive uh, Bryce Harper. We got three fake sticker cards. And uh, four spring has sprung cards. So, thank you, IP Freely. We'll get this right to you.